Mr. Speaker, either the Prime Minister doesn't understand how his own bank works or he's afraid to come clean with Canadian taxpayers. The Liberals' own documents show that the bank works on the assumption that taxpayers will cover losses for private investors. So I want to ask the Prime Minister a very simple question. If the builder or the investor can't pay that loan back, as often happens, who gets stuck with the bill? I want to assure the Honourable Member and this House that the bank will only undertake projects that are in the public interest and will not invest in risky projects and rigorous due diligence will be done by the bank, by the investors, by the municipalities, by the provinces and the federal government the experts that will run this bank will make sure that taxpayer dollars are always protected, that public interest at the forefront of decision making. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, if they're only going to pick projects that will never lose money, then why won't those private investors back them themselves? <laughs> Liberal logic is actually quite simple. Liberals will handpick projects and they'll handpick the investors. And they admit that the bank is all about de-risking projects for private investors. That means that investors get all the profit and taxpayers get all the risk. Can the Prime Minister explain to hardworking Canadians why he's asking them to co-sign loan for the richest 1%? Well, oh, Mr. Speaker, the Canadian Pension Fund Investment Board, Omers, Teachers, Cassidy Depot, Alberta Investment Management Corporation, they all invest in foreign infrastructure, in international infrastructure. What is wrong, Mr. Speaker, if the same organization allow us work with our government to build the infrastructure that our Canadian communities need? For a decade, this government, the previous government, underfunded infrastructure for the municipalities. Now we are catching up. We are making historic investments. We want to mobilize private capital to build more infrastructure. Order, order, order. Order.